Question, does hydrogen work like all other antioxidants? What's up all my community people? Thank you for voting on this month's Q&A poll. We really appreciate it. Uh, you guys voted on a pretty cool question and I'm pumped to go ahead and give you the answer because hydrogen has pretty awesome antioxidant like effects. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so I got five talking points of how I'm gonna address this question regarding hydrogen and its antioxidant like effects. And so first things first, we need to understand what an antioxidant is. And an antioxidant is a atom or molecule that has reductive capabilities or in essence, has the ability to share or donate electrons with other molecules that are reactive or damaging like free radicals uh, without them becoming overly reactive or a free radical themselves. And so this is what by and large, when we think of antioxidants, this is what we think of. The most popular antioxidant probably out there is vitamin C. Um, this is how vitamin C or one of the means of, of how vitamin C can actually act as an antioxidant. It can donate its electrons uh, and basically become a peroxidant, um, but it's not a free radical in and of itself uh, after it donates its electrons. So this is kind of the idea when we think of, of a conventional antioxidant, and sometimes it's referred to as a direct free radical scavenger. And so that's kind of how it's talked about in the scientific literature. So that's what we think about when we think of an antioxidant. So hydrogen gas, based on the current scientific evidence to date, does not appear to be a conventional antioxidant, meaning that it doesn't donate its electrons um, like vitamin C would. Instead, it's better stated that molecular hydrogen has antioxidant-like effects. And this is because molecular hydrogen and conventional antioxidants can lead to the same outcome, which is the reduction of oxidative stress within cells, tissues, and organs. Um, but the way they accomplish them um, is in two different mechanisms, so two different means. And so this leads to my second point. So let's get into that one. So what makes molecular hydrogen different from conventional antioxidants is that molecular hydrogen actually regulates the antioxidant system of the cell. And so uh, sometimes in the scientific literature it's referred to as regulating redox homeostasis. And so basically molecular hydrogen can um, modulate or stimulate um, the master regulator of the antioxidant system of the cell. And this is called the NRF2 pathway. And because hydrogen can regulate this cytoprotective pathway of the cells or our human bodies or systems, uh, hydrogen can influence um, and upregulate our own naturally producing antioxidants in our bodies. Things such as glutathione, superoxide dismutase, catalase, hemo one oxidase, like all these different cytoprotective enzymes uh, that are actually uh, produced by our cells. And so hydrogen can actually influence over, because of activating this particular pathway, hydrogen can actually influence or regulate over 200 biomolecules within the cell to protect the cell, which is insane, but this, it still has the same outcome, which is the reduction of oxidative stress uh, within the cell. And so this is different than, this is a different mechanism of in, in having an antioxidant effect on the cell than it would be just for hydrogen to reduce one molecule or or to react with a single free radical. Uh, and so um, this is my second point. Now let's get to my third point. All right, so my third point of what makes molecular hydrogen different than other conventional antioxidants is that molecular hydrogen is mild or selective. And so what this means is that molecular hydrogen, um, because of its ability to uh, regulate the cells, uh, antioxidant systems that Hydrogen itself um, only seems to influence or reduce the most cell damaging free radicals, but the actual beneficial free radicals that are needed um, for other functions of the cells, it, it doesn't actually reduce those at all. <laughs> so hydrogen has this uh, ability to uh, be selective. Um, conventional antioxidants cannot do this. Conventional antioxidants are going to go in and they're going to donate electrons whether or not the cells need them to donate those electrons or not. Uh, and so it can perpetually reduce free radicals, even good ones, um, that is needed um, for cell proliferation or any kind of other um, aspects of, of, of actual cell viability. So basically, hydrogen itself um, 
only reduces the cytotoxic free radicals, the, the cell damaging ones like um, hydroxyl radical or peroxynitrate. Um, and so this one, hydroxyl radical, is a reactive oxygen species. Peroxynitrate is a reactive nitrogen species. And hydrogen only reduces these guys, but allows the other beneficial ones to, to basically benefit the cell and how the cell needs to use it, which is pretty remarkable. So that's point number three. Let's go to point number four. Point number four, based on the scientific research of what makes hydrogen antioxidant functions different than conventional antioxidants, that hydrogen does not act as a constant promoter of, of the reduction of oxidative stress. So whenever you're taking um, hydrogen gas, if you're closer to homeostasis, it will not reduce oxidative stress as, let's say, if you were to take a ton of antioxidants. They will still try to reduce oxidative stress of free radicals, even if the cell doesn't need it. Hydrogen doesn't do this. Hydrogen doesn't act as a constant promoter. It only reduces oxidative stress when there's an assault or when the cell is far out of homeostasis. And so this also makes hydrogen different. Um, and another thing that makes it super special is that hydrogen can actually reduce oxidative stress in one compartment of the cell, but also allow another compartment of the cell to maintain an oxidative potential. Um, and so it won't actually reduce oxidative stress here because it needs this oxidation, the part of the cell needs this oxidation to actually do its function. And this part needs to be have a reduction of oxidative stress. It can reduce the oxidative stress, let's say, in the cytosol, but it might not necessarily reduce oxidative stress in the mitochondria sometimes because of uh, it needs that oxidative potential in the mitochondria. This is another thing that hydrogen is able to do and that other conventional antioxidants can't do. And so it makes hydrogens extremely unique um, and it does not act as a constant promoter. So for example, there's a study that uh, I think we referenced, I've referenced, or I've talked about it before, but basically what they saw was that in older individuals, hydrogen was able to reduce oxidative and, and was able to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation to a far greater extent than it did in younger individuals because they were closer to homeostasis. It didn't do that in these individuals, but it but it did have a big impact on the reduction of oxidative stress and inflammation because their system is more broke down, you old. <laughs> so uh, that is something else. Uh, let's go now to the next point. So my last point is hydrogen's antioxidant-like properties via its cell modulation effects um, makes it vastly more superior than just an ordinary conventional antioxidant. Um, as I said before, we've kind of mentioned some of these things already, but because it can regulate the antioxidant systems of, of a cell, um, not only does it mean that it can reduce oxidative stress when it's present, but it also means that it can prevent oxidative stress from ever happening <laughs> uh, or getting out of order. So for example, not only could it reduce the levels of hydroxyl radical or peroxy nitrate within the cells, but because hydrogen can regulate the antioxidant system, um, it can actually influence or regulate nitric oxide, which goes on to be further, um, which can go on to be um, produced or reacted into being the peroxy nitrate molecule. Well, hydrogen can reduce the NO, the NO level within the cell, preventing the elevation of peroxy nitrate within the cell. So it's not only functioning on the preventative aspect, but it can also, when, um, when oxidative stress is present, it can reduce um, um, all these different, or it can reduce oxidative stress within the cells. Uh, and so it has this dual effect between a preventative and between regulating the antioxidant system when oxidative stress is present to upregulate these cytoprotective enzymes. So this is far different than just being a conventional antioxidant that can go and neutralize one, just a one-to-one -one relationship, neutralize, um, you know, one free radical or several free radicals by donating its electrons. And so this makes hydrogen, um, you know, in our opinion, uh, vastly more superior than just a conventional antioxidant. And that being said, um, it was the current model, uh, um, the current or the previous model before now uh, was that molecular hydrogen was, was basically able to be a conventional antioxidant and donate its electrons to the to the hydroxyl radical and basically the end result would be water would be produced um, but the researchers have found out that hydrogen's conventional antioxidant effects that they thought it was able to do within a cell 
cannot account for all of the benefits that they were seeing. Um, they said if hydrogen was functioning like a conventional antioxidant, it doesn't make sense to be seeing all of these effects uh, that that basically all these positive effects that they're seeing hydrogen able to do within the cell. And so whether that is not only reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, but actually upregulating mitochondrial biogenesis, producing more mitochondria within the cell and doing like it's just doing so many different things uh, within the cell. So it's like uh, this is what led to the notion of, OK, hydrogen is doing this in another way. How is it doing it? And it seems so it basically seems like hydrogen is able to do this because it acts as a signal modulator or a signaling molecule that can regulate the actual cellular processes uh, um, of the cell, multiple ones, uh, including its antioxidant um, um, functions or properties of the cell. So, or systems of the cell, my bad. So yeah, so that would be my answer. Um, I hope I didn't confuse you all, but basically hydrogen is awesome and it can regulate our antioxidant system. That would be my answer for this question. Once again, thank you guys for voting on this month's Q&A poll. Uh, we really appreciate when you guys do this. Uh, it helps us be able to answer these questions more directly and quick, get these videos out. Uh, it takes us far more time to do our large issue minute videos. So uh, we really appreciate you guys when you vote on these Q&A polls. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to serve you in a different way. Uh, please uh, be sure to like this video and share it. Hit the, uh, hit the bell uh, so you can get notifications when we post new videos. Um, and uh, follow us on all of our social media platforms. And we'll catch you next time. Deuces.